hello guys welcome back uh, today i will be doing some questions from uh, the recent checkpoint exams the tricky ones so there was one question here and the diagram shows a rectangle a b c d you see this rectangle a b c d here e f is parallel to a b e f where is e f e f is here e f is parallel to a B right and E G is parallel to H F E G is parallel to H F here calculate the size of angle marked X so we are looking for this angle here so you see this is two marks question but you need to put some offer uh, efforts so if we see here always look for the angles which are given so if I see here this 20 and because this line is parallel to this and we have another because this is a rectangle so that means this angle is going to be 90 here right so if this is 90 so this is 90 minus 20 that is 70 degree so this angle this much is going to be 70 degree right so we have now one angle of this triangle and another one is x and here we have given 46 so there might be something to do with this so if you see this e f and this g uh, h f e g and h f they are parallel so they make shape of z right here like this if this line is parallel to this so that means this angle and this angle they are alternate angle so this is also 46 this 46 and this one is alternate so they will be equal now we are done uh, so you have these three angles here so we have in this triangle a x plus 70 plus 46 will be equal to 180 so x plus 70 plus 46 116 equals to 118 so x is going to be 180 minus 116 so which is 10 minus 4 6 is 4 7 64 so x is going to be 64 right easy now another question here uh, we had this one here number 18 find the nth term of the sequence uh, of a sequence n square plus 5 so this is tn that is nth term n square plus 5 right so we are looking for seventh term so t7 so just replace n by 7 so 7 times 2 is 9 uh, sorry 7 times 7 is 49 plus 5 which is 54 so seventh term is 54 right um, but b here it is the here are first five terms of a different sequence find an expression for nth term so this is a bit tricky uh, 0 3 8 15 24 so the difference here is when you add 3 here you add 5 here you add 7 you add 11 right so to get the next term but you see then the common difference is not same here so then again you go next step you see we are adding here 2 2 and 2 now you see <coughs> this is difference is 2 and it is same so what do you do when you get here in the second term uh, whatever you get here you divide it by 2 so this is 2 and divided by 2 it gives you 1 right so then for the tn the nth term so the first term is going to be 1 times n uh, n is like n squared so we got this in first and second step so n squared right n squared then we will see what we are going to add and subtract so this is 0 the first term that means t1 should be 0 so that means n square n square that is 1 square if we put 1 minus 1 that will become 0 similarly if you take here t2 that is going to be 2 square minus 1 that is 4 4 minus 1 it is 3 so which is correct and for the third one 3 square 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 so it's working so nth term is going to be n squared minus 1 right I hope you understood and you did well in your exams so those who are doing the exam it's really helpful for you guys
revise this with your pen and paper